We're just about to close for the holiday break, but I still wanted to get this review to you because if there's anything that you should be reading with your extra time this, this break, it's Neanderthal Opens the Door to the Universe by Preston Norton. In short, this book is beautifully written, incredibly paced, thoughtfully fleshed out, and excellently concluded. Neanderthal Opens the Door to the Universe is about Cliff, who has been nicknamed Neanderthal by the worst of Happy Valley High School. The biggest jerk of all is named Aaron Zimmerman. Now, Aaron has a change of heart early on in the book because of a blunt trauma. He goes to Cliff and claims that he has seen God and has been given a list from God to make Happy Valley High School better, but he can only do it with Cliff's help. There are five things on this list, and they each cover different corners of the world that Preston Norton has made. I was very impressed by the plot of this book. One goal connects to the other. Unexpected characters make crazy team-ups, and each thing falls on top of the other. It, it, it's great. It's really good writing. But plot is only one ingredient to an award winner. You also need to have good characters, and man, they are here. Every character in this book is complex. Most of them change, and they all have really good dialogue and interactions that make them feel like real high school students, real people. The last thing I want to mention is this creative writing strategy that I studied in college. Uh, it's theming, where you have one word or idea that you bring up again and again with slightly different spins on it. One short story that I read, I wish I could remember the title, it, uh, it, it did this with the color blue. Blue skies, blue water, blue grass music, blue jeans, anything that you can think of that has to do with that color, they tried to put it in this story with different variations. You know, that, that's what I'm talking about. Norton has four different ideas that pop up again and again, and it's right on the cover. Neanderthal, opens, door, and universe. You'll see these words and ideas pop up again and again throughout the book, and you'll begin to see variations with them as well, like caveman, or reveals, or gate, or eternity. Every time a new idea like this popped up with this theming, I would just shake my head and go, Preston Norton, you genius, you. This is by far the best book that I have read all year, and I read it right at the end. I give Neanderthal Opens the Door to the Universe a rating of Better Than the Weekend, which is a first for this channel. You can find this book right here at the library, the R.W. Thomas Library, when we get back from break. But if you want to read it over break, then you should go to the St. John County Library, where it's available uh, right on the Gateway nominees shelf. Um, but it's also on Libby. Uh, so if you want to download that app and use your library card, you can read it right there. Happy holidays to all of you. When classes resume, these videos resume. I want to do a bunch of different things like library tours, what's new highlights, some slice of life stuff. It's going to be good. You should let me know what you want to see in the comments. Uh, I'm also going to keep doing these book reviews. Right now I'm reading the book 10 Blind Dates by Ashley Elston. It's a book about Christmas, so uh, you can read it along with me, I guess. Uh, and I'll probably review that right at the beginning of break, or what, when we get back from break. Until next time, my name is Name. Peace to you, and imagine on.